I'm going to tell you a story. A story about who we are and what we've done. A story about us. Emily! I said... Oh... Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I'm going somewhere else. No, what are you doing? What? You looked upset. Well, I'm not. I'm just... I'm tired, so have a good night. Did you run away from home? What? <laughs> Why would I do that? I did. I was having a fight with my mom. It wasn't pretty. Well, look at you now. You're out at night talking to other runaways. So you ran away from home? Look, I have to be somewhere, so... Why'd you run? Okay. I got into an argument with my mom. I was just telling her what I want to do with my life she was yelling and she wasn't even listening, so I couldn't take it anymore. What do you want to do with your life? There are so many things I want to tell you. I'll begin with the night you were born. When I first held you in my arms, you were everything I wanted you to be. I swear in that moment, all my anger, all my stress, it disappeared the second that I saw you. I made you my young, beautiful daughter. You are perfect. I want to be an actress. I've wanted this since I was 10 years old. I did a monologue in a talent show, and when the show ended, I spent half an hour walking around the auditorium trying to find my mom, and she didn't even show up. We got into an argument tonight because I told her I wanted to go to acting school, and she told me I couldn't go because of how hard it is. And I know it's hard, but... I just want her to believe in me. Like, I've never felt confident about who I am or whether I'm good enough. Like, no one's ever told me, like, you can do this. Your mother cares about you. She loves you. Even if she doesn't always show it. You don't know my mom. I do. Emily, <laughs> your favorite color is red. Not dark red, light red. The color that's almost pink, but isn't. In third grade, you skinned your knee playing soccer. And when you were 10 years old, your mother gave you this and said, As long as I had it, I could never be lost. You're me. How is this happening? You'll find out on your own. All you need to know right now is how much your mother loves you. I know how you're feeling right now better than anyone else can. And I know what you need. What's that? Talk to her. Listen to what she sacrificed for you. I know you're going through a lot right now, but so is she. Just, whatever happens, try to understand her. Because there's more to her than you know. Okay. Wait. Do I ever become an actress? That's for you to decide. The story of your life is still unfolding. It's your job to fill in the pages. But our story wasn't perfect. When you grew up, you were different. And I didn't understand you anymore. You were 
becoming you. Beautiful, strong, and unique. That's who you've always been. Wow, should have seen that one coming. Hello? Hi. Are you lost? I don't think so. What do you have there? It's a keychain. My mom gave it to me. She said as long as I have it, I can never be lost. Your mom sounds really nice. She is. She wrote a monologue for me. I'm going to perform it at the talent show. I have it all memorized, but I don't really get what it means. You will. I hope so. I can't wait to perform at the talent show. I know. It's so exciting. They're going to love you. And wherever your mom is, she'll love it too. You're going to do amazing things, Emily. I believe in you. You can do this. I'm gonna tell you a story. A story about who we are and what we've done. A story about us. When you told me who you wanted to be, I was scared. I didn't know what you could do. But now I see you. I finally see you. Today is a day you'll remember for the rest of your life. The day that you grew up. And I'm so proud. These are the stories that brought us to this moment. And tomorrow, you'll continue your story. Hello? Mom. Honey, it's late. Where are you? I'm outside. Now, please, please listen to me. I need to tell you something. What? I'm sorry for what I said. I'm so sorry. I know you don't want me to be an actress, and I get it. It's. It's not easy, <laughs> and maybe I won't succeed, but I can't just be what you want me to be. I'll always want to be more. I know I'm not the daughter you were expecting, but I just want you to be proud of me. You there? I'm here. It's just that I care about you. I, I care about you more than anything. I just don't want you to fail. Mom, the only way that I fail is if I give up. So I can't. Okay. Are you lost? No. I'm exactly where I need to be. Remember what you told me all those years ago when you gave me the keychain? Yes, of course I remember. I told you that as long as you had it, you can never be lost. Yeah. <laughs> Why a butterfly? Because that's who you are. You've always been my little butterfly. That was in the monologue you wrote. Well, that monologue was for you. I know. I want to listen to you more. I want to talk to you. And I love you. I love you too. Can you come home now? Okay. You're a butterfly. Just like me. I wouldn't want you any other way, and I can't wait to see you fly. 